Welcome to the first video in the Rigging for Anime Pro series, Setting Up Your Pivots. So I repeat, these videos are not for Animate users, but just for Animate Pro users. A second set of videos will be made just for Animate users, in which the rigging technique is completely different. So in these videos, we're going to show you an advanced way of rigging that is not detailed in the user guide. It may seem complicated, but let me reassure you, in the end, it'll be well worth it. I will try my best to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing, but don't get frustrated if things seem roundabout or redundant. I can see into the future and let me just tell you, this way will be easier in the long run when you start animating. So between the last tutorial and this tutorial, we completed a bunch of extra drawings for the hands, the mouth, the eyebrows, etc. So now what we have to do is set the pivots. The only two body parts that we don't, or four body parts that we don't need to set the pivots for are the two forearms and the two tibias. And that's because if you recall, we already set them in the tutorial where we rounded the joints. So to set a pivot, you have to select the pivot tool from the toolbar. And what we're going to do is set it for the arm first. And for the upper arm here, where we'd like to set it is exactly on the shoulder because that's going to be our point of rotation. So let's zoom in a little bit. And what we're doing right now is we're directly setting the pivot on the drawing. And all you have to do is click in the place that you would like to set the pivot. And you can even drag it around if you click and drag to set it more precisely. Um, you can also zoom in if you want to make it super precise, but that's really not bad. And every time I jump between views, I'm able to reset the pivot in a different spot because it considers these different drawings because of that line there. So I'm able to set a different position for every view. Finding it difficult to see where you should place the pivot, you can always turn on the light table and also turn on the show uh, current drawing on top. Um, in this case, because the rabbit's G is so pale, you can't, but I can see that the curve, the top curve is actually here. So I'm going to replace the pivot there. Here it's good. I see that the the G stops uh, right where the pivot is. And here it's obvious because there's a black line around it. So when you have extra drawings, such as this hand, let's that has several different drawings, you want to be sure that the pivot is at exactly the same spot. And the reason for this is if you set two keyframes where there's interpolation between the two keyframes, and for example, your hand is performing a rotation, if you then substitute in one of these drawings mid-rotation and the pivot point is different on the two drawings, then there's going to be a visible jerk in your animation and it won't look smooth. So to ensure that you have the pivot in the same place for all the extra drawings of a particular view, you just have to place the first pivot. So I'm going to place it there. Then you have to right click in the timeline and select copy cells from timeline. Then click on the second drawing where you'd like to place the pivot. Right click again and select paste special. And then select from the advanced menu, update drawing pivot, and say OK or hit enter, and it'll place it exactly in the same spot. And then when you do it a third or fourth or fifth time, you can actually select paste special again. And because you just did a cut and paste, it'll do the exact same thing it performed before in the paste special before. So as you can see, the pivot is in the exact same place for all three hands. And also for the fourth hand, because the fourth hand is really just the first hand repeated. So the pivot is also in the precise location. So I'm going to continue setting the pivot for all the rest of the parts of the character. And of course, I'm going to speed up this part of the video.
So that's it for the tutorial setting up the pivots. Stay tuned for the next tutorial setting up the modules and pegs.